I've always come from a family of farmers. Um, you know, I'm, I'm the third generation in our operation, but um, I'm actually the sixth generation in my family that's been involved in agriculture. I've been on the farm all my life. I've always loved the farm, been involved uh, from a very young age when uh, my dad would take me along. Um, used to, some of my first memories on the farm are feeding the hogs. We had a hog operation. Uh, I've always you know, wanted to be on the farm. I've always loved it. I've enjoyed uh, working with my family and working the land. And um, when I graduated college, the opportunity was there for me to come home and grow the farm to support my return. Uh, so that's what I've tried to do. My grandpa told me that if I wanted to farm, he would try to help me, but I had to get an education first. So that's what I did, and that has helped me greatly. Um, you know, ag engineering is all about solving problems, and that's what a modern farmer does, is solve problems and try to figure out how to stay uh, viable and profitable uh, in these hard times that we're facing right now. We do a lot of different things, and I wear a lot of different hats on the farm. We try to start work around 7, 7.30. Uh, this time of year we're bailing tobacco in the morning and then we'll either, if there's any spraying that needs to be done, we're about through with the spraying. We'll start barning tobacco after that and then um, picking corn as soon as we can turn enough help loose to start that. So we're pretty busy this time of year from sun up to sundown and even after sometimes. I got involved in Farm Bureau I guess a little later in my career than maybe Deshaun would have wanted me to, in my age anyway. Uh, I did participate in the collegiate discussion meet. That was some of my first involvements. And just really got to know, you know about what Farm Bureau does, about the advocacy network and that it's really more than just an insurance company because when you're 18, 20, 21, 25, you start having to get your own insurance and things like that. You know, that's kind of my first exposure, but I didn't know as much about the other side of Farm Bureau than as, as I did now. And from there, I got involved in our county young farm and rancher chapter. Uh, we have a pretty active chapter here in Johnston County. I got involved at the state level uh, through the Farm Labor Advisory Committee. I got appointed to that, so I serve on that currently. Um, and that's really, to me, is kind of where I, I learned the most about Farm Bureau is on that policy making grassroots level. Farm Bureau is the voice for farmers. It, it, it's all agriculture. It doesn't matter if you're a, a one acre farm or a 10,000 acre farm. Farm Bureau has your interest at heart. There isn't really another organization like that that can pull all of agriculture together under one umbrella. Um, you know, after, after getting involved at that level, I was asked to serve on the state committee, uh, Young Farm and Rancher State Committee, so we did that uh, for two years, and then I was fortunate enough to be appointed as chair. Um, so, you know, all that experience has just grown our network, and that's really what Farm Bureau leverages, is just that network of people and friends. You know, I have friends all the way across the state, from the coast to the mountains that I could call and they would help me anytime if I need to and likewise. And, and that network is really the power of Farm Bureau. When I found out that I had been selected as the Achievement Award winner, it, it was a very humbling and very honoring experience. I guess it's just confirmation, you know, that what I'm doing is making a difference. It is, it is worthwhile and, you know, there's a lot of people doing the same thing I'm doing and to be chosen as the as the the winner of that is a very honoring experience.